Hi, I'm Karina Patel. I'm an artist and I teach as well. So we are here today making visual memory collages. I invite you to join me in remembering and sharing your memories as well. Let's work alongside. In the last episode, we discussed memories and how we can start focusing in on memories. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how we can match images to the memories that we have selected. We'll talk about the visual technique of making collages, including some collage making styles. I guess that's the best word for it. I'll show you some examples of collages done by other artists. And we will, of course, talk about the elements of visual art making. And I'll do all this by demonstrating with an example. And I'll make a collage right here. So I invite you to, again, work alongside me. So what is a collage? Collage literally means to stick together. And the visual technique means that we are taking paper cutouts and sticking it on a surface. But really, it doesn't have to be paper cutouts. You can use fabric. Um, people have used 3D objects as well. Um, it's, it's a wide range of things that we stick together on a surface, and that's basically collage making. I'm going to show you some examples now. This is uh, Henri Matisse, one of my favorite artists. Uh, we also looked at his work in the first episode. We looked at the blue swimmers at uh, the swimming pool. Uh, here he has made, um, the title of the piece is called The Snail, but it's obviously very abstract. He used, used shapes and colors, and um, it's a paper stuck on a surface. The second collage is by an artist called Lorna Simpson, somebody I really love uh, because of the way she uses photographs from magazines, Ebony and Jet magazines, and then, you know, adds things to it, adds elements to it. In this case, she has added typeface letters, as you can see. I just love the way it all comes together. Again, it's paper. The third collage is kind of whimsical, I would say. It's really fun. It's by an artist called Jesuso Ortiz. It's photographs, I think it's photographs of two flowers that look very realistic. And then uh, he has used a technique that I use a lot also, just simple lines. Um, and it's just a very sweet collage. Uh, three different ways and three different styles. Um, so that's one of the things I want to talk about now, and that is the style. I mean, that's the best word for it. But basically, how do you express um, it visually, the images and memories that you have selected? There are three ways you can do it. One is what I call representational, in which you actually show a photograph of the memory. Um, so it could be, say, you're making a collage of um, your mother um, or a loved one, and you actually use a photograph of that person. So that would be representational. Or you use a photograph that kind of looks like that person. The second way to express it is symbolically. So, for example, you'll see in the, one of the collages or in some of the collages that I make, I use symbols. Um, so I use the symbol of a sari, for example, to um, represent my mother instead of actually showing her photograph. Um, and then there's always abstract, which is particularly a style I like. Um, and broadly speaking, these are the three different ways or a combination of these three different ways that, could, that you can use um, to match the images with the memories or experiences. So now let's start making a collage. So first, we have to select an umbrella theme. I talked about umbrella themes in the first episode. So the theme could be seasons of life, people, significant events, places, objects and activities of a certain period in your life. And um, for this uh, episode, I'm going to demonstrate some of the ways of making a collage and the elements, uh, the visual elements, the basics of visual elements um, by selecting the universal, uh, sorry, the umbrella theme, which is also universal really, of significant events in my life. And um, what I'm going to start doing is I've selected the umbrella theme, I'm going to think about a significant event in my life, and again, what I spoke about this in the first episode, what we are going to do is set a timer for 10 minutes and think of which significant theme um, you want to um, remember and share. So often, you know, when I'm thinking, I doodle and doodling helps me or just making lines and just kind of 
also if you are a kind of person who can sit still and just close your eyes and relax then you could do that i need to keep my hands moving so i do that and um, there are so many significant events it's hard to choose you know it's hard to choose i mean so one thing i do want to say is that the umbrella themes are all kind of related so i'm thinking of a significant event i could also be thinking of a family member or i could be thinking of a significant event at a place or i could be thinking of a significant event during a period of my life like childhood um, so give this time 10 minutes is actually nothing you know if i had the luxury i would be sitting and thinking about a significant event or significant events of my life for the entire morning but 10 minutes is a good place it also gives some structure and limits us so that we can keep working spend some time just sitting still or doodling uh, or being in a quiet place to think of to think to look back to go back to that time in your life and one essential way to do this is to activate your senses like how did it feel like at that time in your life what were what did you see what are the images that come up um who are the people that come up what did the place smell like even uh what was the food like what did it taste like senses always activate the memories and um so focus on activating your senses and being still and going back to that place and that time and um one thing as uh, i would say it in my language is sit with your emotions what does what does that feel like you know and that's important when we share it visually because what's the mood what was the mood like because the mood and the emotions will help us decide the colors we want to use um and this this might be a good time to really briefly talk about visual elements so i just want to point out and i'll i'll keep saying it in all the episodes the basic visual elements are lines shapes colors patterns and textures tones like the shades and of course the overall composition and we'll keep talking about this so now that i've briefly introduced the technique of collage making like you know just a a short introduction to what is collage making and talked briefly about the elements of visual art which i will continue to do throughout all the episodes let's actually start to make a collage um so first the materials again we had spoken about about the materials in the first episode i love collage because the materials are really few oh you can say few or my, my, or too much but because few in the sense we just need glue um a brush or something to apply the glue with um we need scissors so that's it really but the many part is all the different pieces of paper and things like that so let me talk about that real quickly uh there are many ways you can start gathering your source images one is to go through old catalogs um magazines newspapers and things like that uh another way is to actually make copies of your personal papers or gather things that you come across and have a personal collection of collage making papers and fabric and things like that i mean really it's endless um a third way is actually now that we have computers going online looking for the images you want and then printing them out uh so oh and there is another way in which you can actually cut out the images you want from paper i actually love to do that i really enjoy just cutting out the images i want from paper from paper that i paint and make myself and i'll show that to you as well um so th- that's that's basically it so again let me show you the simple materials we need scissors i also always like to keep a small scissor for fine work and then just regular you know even the kitchen scissors will do i shouldn't be waving scissor scissors around like that i don't think it's a safe thing to do um so please don't wave your scissors around like i just did um st- starting to remember kindergarten and how the teacher would always say 
hand your scissor like that and not like that. Oh, I remember those days. Anyway, so let's, um, the other thing, uh, glue. Okay, so let me show you some glues that I have. I tend to use this uh, glass medium, but you really don't need this. Any glue stick or Elmer's glue will be just fine. I also have Mod Podge, another glue. Again, glue stick and Elmer's, nothing like it. I have brushes for the glue. Um, I also have some pencils because sometimes I like to sketch out my design, but um, often I just don't. I actually start with looking for images. So that's what I'm going to do now. Start looking for images. So let me actually pull out my list of things that I wanted to, that came up when I thought of a significant event in my life. So now I have a list of things I remember about one of the most significant events of my life, and that is immigrating to this country. Um, what I'm going to do next is match these memories or the experience of immigration um, with images. Um, so there are different ways again to do it. And I, this time around, I am actually um, going to look for images from my collection of old magazines, um, catalogs, and I'm also going to look through my personal collection of images. So I have a personal collection of some images that I, as you know, I'm an artist, I draw, in fact, I, um, I, I practiced for many years how to draw, so I think I can draw pretty okay. So these are some drawings I had made of stars for whatever reason. Um, this is a print I had made of a, of a tree. Uh, so I, I have my personal collection. Um, um, I have my personal collection in a folder. Um, it's This folder is full of my images that I have drawn or printed or actually even found. Uh, and right beside my chair, I have a whole bag of um, images that I found and collected over the years. So I'm going to actually pull out one right now and, and show it to you. So, okay, it's my secret stash over here of candy. No, not candy, but eye candy. It could be called eye candy, you know. So here it is. Here's my personal collection of images. Uh, I think I'm going to have to move all these old magazines out of the way. And I will just quickly uh, show you my personal collection of images. Uh, oh, look, that is from a, that is from a, from some stationery that I had once got, once I, I bought from a store in India, I think. So it's a beautiful image. Um, I have that. Oh, I have a ton of eye candy in here. Um, oh, this is, this is, this is, I love this image. This is an image from um, an ad for a sewing machine and my mom loves to sew. So I, uh, so one thing I always do is I make copies of the images. I don't use the original because I might need to use it again. So this is a color copy of a ad for um, uh, something to do with embroidery. Um, so same way I have an image of um, um, this. Uh, these are uh, labels for seeds. Um, seed labels. So like I said, this file is full of eye candy and I can, we can spend a lot of time looking through this. So I'm not really going to spend a whole lot of time looking through my personal stash right now, uh, but I just wanted to show you that there are, uh, uh, you have to start collecting the images that you will use or the pictures uh, you will use for your collage. Um, so once again, uh, old magazines, catalogs, and personal collection. Okay, so let me start with this and then we can think about many more things. But here's my list. So one thing I do have to do right now is I possibly cannot show everything that I wrote in 
10 minutes. And I wonder how much you wrote in 10 minutes because really, I mean, writing for 10 minutes without getting distracted like I did, um, you can come up with a very long list. Um, this is just the first page of my list. Um, believe me, there are five more pages of things I remembered about that experience. I mean, just the first, the, the first day, I started with the first day and then went down that zoomed down memory lane for the, to the first six months and thought of, you know, how I moved from my sister's house to Manhattan and, 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 and all that. So, but so I'm, I'm going to look through my I remember list and like I said, just select a few things. So what I would like to do, and I'm not very good at selecting from before. I mean, I have friends who do that. I, I just want to go through the images and see if I something you know, echoes or something matches my uh, memory of the time I immigrated. So let's see. Well, certainly not this. I don't want to be looking at them. Well, they do look like people I first came across when I moved to this country on the streets of New York. But uh, no, no, not that. Oh, please, please do not start reading these articles. I'll be here forever. Okay. Ooh, no, not that. Birds. Oh, there were pigeons. There were pigeons quite a bit. Well, that'll be kind of nice to have. Well, I'm just going to cut it. Well, I, I, like I said, I keep a range of scissors. One, two, three, and this small one for cutting out small things like this. So, hmm. Oh, you, you should look at the back always because you might find something more interesting at the back. And I do, I do, I, I do want to take this free speech bit because, you know, coming to the United States, democracy, freedom, that'll be nice. Kind of a symbolic way of expressing my... Hmm, well, well the pigeon is on this page, so I should be fine. Let me, let me tear this out. Be careful. There we go. Um, and now I'm going to take this pigeon. Two pigeons. Hello, pigeons. Okay. Oh, the pigeons are having pizza. Better still, I remember eating pizza because it was the least expensive thing I could find near, uh, up on the Upper West Side. Pizza. And the pigeons eating. I love this. I, I have to use this somehow in my collage of my significant event. Okay. And aren't they cute, these two pigeons? Ooh. Okay, right there. Look, I really get distracted. Oh, I need the free speech. Certainly need free speech. So I'm gonna start making a pile. I remember my immigration experience and so far I have two images. Believe me, by the end of it, I'll have like 2,000 if I keep going. No. But sometimes words are nice to use. Oh, look at the pigeons are fighting over pizza. <laughs> Do I want that? Um, as tempting as it is, pigeons fighting over pizza. No, 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 Krina. Do not look. No, don't want that. Oh, I like that. Oh, actually, you know what? Like I said, always look on both sides of the pages because if I had cut that out, I would have missed this and I want the colors just for the colors, the blue, the purple, the green. I want this and so Matisse-like. I've showed you Matisse before. This is very Matisse-like. Okay. Okay. We are going to keep this. You know what? This is not in the, this should not be in the significant event pile. This should just be in a pile where I collect uh, colors. Yeah, I'm going to keep it in a separate pile. One of the things to do with collage is you got to kind of be organized, which, you know, I... Oh, that pizza is gone. Never mind. Who's this? No, I don't want this person. Nah. Oh, that, those little mice are so cute. Nope. Nope. Do not look. No, I don't want that woman. No, I don't want this guy. All right. So, okay, done for now, but I'm not, I'm gonna keep this magazine because I might need it for something else. Hmm, what's good, this going to have? So right now I am collecting images uh, uh, that will match my I remember experience. All right, so, so you know what, I'm gonna to switch to looking at catalogs and see if I can find anything there. So again, I'm gonna put these aside, I'm gonna definitely need them. 
let's see, Land's End, it's such an American company. Uh, but again, you know, I mean, the colors, I should just cut out this, oh, what's on the other side? I should cut out these colors because I might need it for another, another collage. I like very much these colors. I like, I like this one. Oh, this small scissor is no good for cutting out bigger things. So let's take the big scissor. See, you need scissors of different sizes. That's the only splurge you have to do for collage making. Get good scissors. That's what I say. Get good scissors. You know, when I was a child, my mother used to have the most bluntest scissors ever. And it'd be like, so frustrating to cut anything. And those kid scissors, oh, I don't know. I really wish we could give sharper scissors for craft projects without harming, without the kids doing any harm with them. There really should be some kind of a innovation where the scissors are sharp, but also safe. But anyhow, that's a whole nother topic, scissors. Mm, colors okay let's see my what do i have in my list i have my sister wearing oh maybe i can find a black coat in land's end my sister was wearing a black coat when she came to pick me up i still remember that it didn't look like any of these nope it was like a like a wool coat well i guess that was that many years ago and now everybody has these puffy coats nobody has wool coats anymore look all puffy 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 coats oh nice pattern I'm going to have that, take that for the pattern. You know, because pattern and texture is another um, visual art element. Again, let's just remember those basic elements of visual art. Shapes, first lines, then shapes, then colors, then textures and patterns, then tones and values. Oh, we could go on forever. Right now, focusing on patterns. Okay, I'm going to save this also along with this. I don't think I'm going to find my sister's black coat in this Land's End catalog because they all have these puffy things. Puffy, puffy, puffy. Oh, look, wool. That's a wool coat, but it's blue. Hmm. Maybe I can just take a black marker and make it black. Right? I mean, we could do that. Okay, just in case, backup plan. Plan B. Have my sister wear a blue coat. Okay. No. Because, you know, memories are like that. I mean, you think, I think she was wearing a black coat, but maybe if I ask her, she'll say, no, it was blue. Knowing my sister, she'll probably say that, just to be contrary. But memories are, you know, sometimes, and there's a whole lot of literature on that, but we are not going to talk about that also. Black, it's a black card. She wasn't wearing anything like that. No, never mind, never mind. Okay, so Land's End, Land's End. Oh, Macy's, maybe Macy's has a black coat. My sister's, my sister wearing a black coat. Remember, that is on my list of things I remember. So, really quickly, very quickly. I'm not going to take up more time. No, because, you know, you can make collages for days. Oh, no, not, nothing here. Nothing to see here. Okay, so my personal collection. Well, I could, you know, have, uh, uh, um, use photographs that I have of New York at that time. I have a lot of photographs of New York of that time. Wait a minute, let's do that. I'm going to actually take out some photographs of New York and maybe I can use that. But remember, always make copies of your photos. Okay, so I have looked through old magazines. I've looked through catalogs and um, I also have looked through, I'm starting to look through my personal collection. So I have a personal collection of photographs of that time in New York. So, but like I said, I never use the original photographs. I use copies of the photographs. So I remember one thing uh, in New York being stuck, struck by the fact that there were these small kiosks, you know, where they sold newspaper and candy and, um, and I mean, I love taking photographs of these kiosks with all the bright, colorful candy. Um, these are the photographs that I took. I took a ton of them. Oh, and I was always fascinated by, since I was so new to the United States, the American candy, all kinds of candies. It was like, oh my God, all this candy. Oh, ooh, look at this. Again, collage making is a very distracting activity, I'm telling you. All right, I'm gonna put these photographs of New York away. I just want to show, if possible, one more photograph. And I loved going to 
Chinatown in New York. So this is a photograph that I took of that time. These are all possibilities for my collage. I can sort of uh, cut out, you know, that. Um, but I have to say also, you know, it was very exciting. It was very exciting to be in New York, but it was also sad in a way because I had just left a, a home and the colors of home, here are some photographs I have of India that I had taken in India um, way back when. And um, here it is. Um, so I admit, and look at these gorgeous colors. And uh, this is at the uh, uh, vegetable, the produce market in my town. Um, so I, I, I miss that, you know, I missed, uh, look at this, it's just gorgeous. Um, um, these colors, these people, the they were so warm, just like the colors, the people are so warm. And, um, and not to say that in New York it's not like that, but you know, just this. And, oh, look at that, such gorgeous colors. Um, here we are. Uh, and then um, the shad, and I used to keep looking, I, you know, I, I was trained as an artist, I am trained as an artist, and so I used to look at the shadows on the walls. These are the shadows on the walls in my apartment in New York. The evening sunset and the shadows. Um, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but here we, here we have the shadows, you know, um, the shadows on the wall in my... So as exciting as it was, um, there was also this thread of sadness. And uh, so, you know something, now is a good time to talk about the palette, the palette. Um, so for my collage about New York, um, I want to have exciting colors. Uh, my collage about not New York, but the immigration experience and New York was the first um, city I came to. Um, so I want to have um, bright colors um, to, to convey the excitement, but I also do like the, the muted colors, um, you know, the shadows, the, the shadow of leaving home, the leaving the first home and coming to a new home. So the shadow of leaving the first home and the excitement of coming to a new home. I want to convey that in my um, collage. So. Um, I have a collection of images. Um, I have to make copies of images I want to use from here. Uh, I still did not find that black coat. Um, uh, let me, let me, uh, you know what I do. Uh, at this point, I have enough of an inspiration. I would like to make a sketch or two. Uh, this is the time when I sort of draw out the design for the collage. Um, and uh, I, urge you to do the same. So you hopefully have selected an umbrella theme and hopefully you're working alongside me and you have selected a significant event. After that, you have spent 10 minutes reflecting on the significant events of your life. And then I know 10 minutes is too small a time, too short a time. And then you've spent 10 minutes writing, I remember, and this is just one page of five that I made in 10 minutes a list of uh, five pages, which had the list of things I remember. Um, out of that, um, maybe like me, you like to look through magazines and catalogs to find the images that match. Um, and you have done that and you have now a pile of images. So what do we do after that? After that, I recommend, or what I do is make a drawing. So make some little sketches, and you don't have to be an artist for that. Just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show you how. Um, so I'm gonna get a blank piece of white paper from here. Here's my white paper. When you get a pencil, I have a collection of pencils. I always love a soft pencil, which is a 6B, but you can also get a regular two, you know, regular pencil, even a little stump of a pencil. And I'm gonna pretend that I'm going to make the final collage bigger. This is just for sketches. So some options, what are some options I have? One option would be to, I'll have the birds. I'll put birds in here. And I'll put scenes from New York. NY. 
and I'll put big cars. That would be one option. And I'm going to just say, let's pretend this is my collage surface and I'm going to stick birds here. I'm going to have a scenes of New York here. I'm going to have big cars here. Something like that. Like I said, you don't have to be an artist. You just need to have a collection of images and figure out what you want to share, with what parts of the memory you want to share. And, and you know, I want to share the excitement of immigration, the excitement of coming to a new home, a new country, a new culture. But at the same time, I also want to share um, the sense of loss, you know, um, the sadness of leaving the first home where you were born and raised. I want to share both those things. So uh, my colors are going to be bright and my colors are going to be also muted. Um, but I'm not very satisfied with, um, so far, with, with what I have. I mean, I, you know, there's something else that's missing. I'm going to give it some more thought. So I have three choices, like I said. I could actually represent my immigration experience by showing New York City, by showing uh, a f photograph of uh, a copy of my passport. That's all representational. I could do something symbolic, like just showing some, like an airplane or a ship to convey that you're leaving and going travel, you know, you're traveling somewhere new. That would be symbolic. I could also do something really abstract. I, I, I think I might end up doing something really abstract. Um, um, let me, let me, you know, this is a good time to not set the timer for 10 minutes and to actually think what parts of this significant event or what aspects of the significant event you want to share, uh, you know, the emotions. How do you convey all this visually? So this requires more than 10 minutes. Um, so I, I suggest um, keep looking at the, your collection. I'm going to look at my photographs and I'm going to look at the um, little things I collected. I, you know, there's many more I collected. Um, I'm going to look at just this, I don't know, colors. Um, give it some thought. And I hope you're working alongside with me and you have started your very first collage. Congratulations. And we'll keep going till we have at least another two or three collages. All right, see you in the next episode.